If you were gonna build something, would you rather it have a strong outer wall or a strong internal frame? This is a question that nature asks itself every day. Hey vertebrates, Trace here standing up for DNews. The skeleton is a pretty fantastic evolutionary solution to a complicated problem, especially considering invertebrates outnumber us vertebrates by a lot. Only 2% of all known species have backbones. 2%. There are over 7 billion humans. We are just a tiny part of that 2%. Invertebrates are obviously not at a disadvantage because there are so many of them. But if they are so great, why don't we all have exoskeletons? Why do we have a backbone and internal scaffolding rather than a hard outer shell? Well, the oldest forms of life we know of were all boneless, with a divergence when chordates, the first in the family chordata, first evolved semi-rigid cartilage structures. From there, slowly, over millions of years, the cartilage hardened and formed a structure for bones and muscles. Separately, other organisms in the arthropod family involved an external rigid structure supported by soft tissues so they could move. As animals with internal exoskeletons evolved and got larger and larger and larger, the most successful creatures' bones strengthened and had some fuse into larger, stronger bones. Human babies are born with almost 300 bones, for example, but adults only have 206 because they kind of fuse together as we grow. As animals with exoskeletons grew and evolved, they also got larger, but they just couldn't quite hit the sizes of their vertebrate cousins. Exoskeletons don't grow larger. So instead, these guys have to molt, shedding their protective covers and leaving behind a softer, more vulnerable one underneath, opening them up to disease and attack. That would be bad if you were big. Think of an exoskeleton like a suit of armor or like sports pads. The larger an organism is, the heavier the exoskeleton. It's called the square cube law. This is why a lot of animals you see at the zoo or on Animal Planet are vertebrates rather than invertebrates. The biggest animals in the world, like blue whales and elephants, are vertebrates because of their rigid internal structure. It has a better size to weight ratio. Exoskeletons simply don't. Another thing is movement. Because of our lighter internal skeletons, we got the ball and socket joint, we got the hinge joint, and we got gliding joints. Woohoo! Movement! But exoskeletons can't distribute the weight as easily, so they usually only have one joint, the pin joint. It goes one bit into another bit. You'll never make it as a dancer, crab! Woohoo! Movement! The square cube rule is also why giant humans usually have heart problems and why whales would be crushed by their own weight out of the water. So thanks to technology, humans are learning to build exoskeletons and gain some of the strength and protection of an exoskeleton in nature. We've even talked about some of them here on D News, but nature doesn't really want to mess with us having those. What do you want to do? Look like Dr. Zoitberg? Duh. So what do you think? Would you trade your fancy internal skeleton for a slower, heavier, and stronger exoskeleton? Share your visions of world domination or circus fame in the comments and go like our Facebook page for some behind the scenes exclusives and also more videos.